Oh no, I think I broke it. No, 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 no. My camera today woke up and chose violence. So vlog camera has stepped up and we're gonna use that for the next couple of weeks. Hopefully then it'll be fixed. And starting off, you might be wondering, Rachel, why is your hair soaking wet? Or is it just really greasy? It's a great question, I would love to tell you. It is wet and I have wet it like four times now because <laughs> look what I bought. Oh, you can't, you can't tell what it is at all. Yep, I bought it. I need to know if this thing is worth it. it so expensive. It's so expensive. I know, you know when I know. There's no world in which you need this, but I want to know what the results give because then you can make the decision yourself if you think it's worth it. So this, in case you haven't seen the 4 million ads for this, is the new Dyson um, straightener. And not just any straightener, this is going to go wet to dry in terms of straightening. And you might be saying to yourself, Rachel, you have straight hair and it's fine. Why do you need this? I want to test it out because my hair looks like garbage right now when I blow dry it because it's very damaged and sad. But I figured let's put it to the test of as many humans as possible. So we're also gonna test it on Lowe. Lowe, if you don't know, has a very wavy, thick hair. We'll do that after. Gosh, Dyson, do you know what I'm want me to get into this? How many stickers can I put on here to really mess up Rachel? Whoa, look at the design on here. They're like, look at, look how sciencey we are. We're so smart. We're so smart, look how smart we are. Got it. Here she is, everyone. This is what, I don't even wanna say how much money this was, but I did it. I did it for you, I did it for me, I did it for science. Now I do have the Dyson blow dryer. I actually got it when it first launched and I love it. I love it so much. I also have their um, their barrel curler clip-on thing, which I do not like. That thing just doesn't work for me. I've tried so many ways. It looks really good if you want curly hair for like four and a half minutes. All right, she plugged in. I opened the little thing. It really doesn't change it much. Here's it open. And I just wanna do this because I, I had to re-wet my hair like four times now. Actually, true story. I went in, oh, his name is James Dyson. What a strong, James Dyson. I don't know why I was like <laughs> being threatening towards him. So sorry, James. I actually went to go wet my hair fully in the shower. And then in doing so, I was like, might as well just wash it. So it was just full on, fully clothed, like tipping my head over, <laughs> washing it fully. Now you know what I did this morning. Let's turn it on. Oh, it has a little screen in there too. This looks like a little mini computer in there. All right, I will. I want this one. Oh, English. Oh, I just turned it off. <laughs> work. Okay, press that. What? Press and hold for settings. What? Makes it super unclear what um, I'm, what I'm checking off here. But okay, I'm gonna press the on. <laughs> That was aggressive. I was just like, okay, I'm ready. And it's like, you're ready now. Let's get this front piece here. We're gonna do it on the lowest heat setting. And it starts off with a cool blast in case you're wondering what that was to like self clean it apparently. Now it's clean. Okay, lowest possible heat. Still very wet. I don't know, maybe I need like a smaller section. It just needed a smaller section. By the way, do you like how it's going quieter in between pressing down? I like that, it's like an idle mode. Okay, I need to like section my hair properly and do this, but like that, pass number one. Not pass number one, that was like four passes, but so far it looks shiny. Let's just do this top part here and then I'll go do half my head. I guess it turns off when I put it down. That's a nice feature. You know, for safety. I like how they did that. Rachel's definitely just gonna throw that thing down on. So okay, for science, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow dry my hair the normal way, not straighten it, but just blow dry it the normal way. And then I'm going to blow dry it on this side with the Dyson straightener thing. I just wanna see what kind of a difference it makes in terms of the shininess of my hair. And then we'll test it on low. So far, it's very shiny, very shiny. Okay, let's try a transition. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Oh, I wonder what side was done with what device. So yeah, I mean, obviously this one is nice and smooth and straight, but let, let's talk about the experience. So this took me like a minute and a half. Now granted my hair was fairly like air dried at this point, but not long. This took me a while because you have to kind of get a sense of like, the size of the, the sections you're supposed to be doing. Also in no world will it like allow you to curl your hair under. I haven't figured that out. I don't know if other people have, but like it does pin straight, that's it. And I kept like going through and I'd feel something that was, I don't know, wet still. So then I'd have to go back in and like do it over and over again. I don't know. It is a beautiful shine and like very glossy. And because I am very like, 
trying to be healthier with my hair. I'm semi tempted to keep it, but I will say, okay, so there's a couple things. One, it's really hard to get it to the root of your head. So you'd have to use like a really thin, narrow section in order to get the root dry, or you're gonna have to use, like it has like a thing where you can close it and then like blow dry it, like rough dry the root a bit. So you could do that. The other thing I'm kind of interested in is with my now dry hair, cause they do have a dry hair setting. If I can get my hair from looking like this to looking like this, because this is, this is the question now. So first I hate how loud it is when it turns on and it's like rah. Like, what are you cleaning, bro? Let's see if we can do like a rough straighten. Wait, I have to change the setting. There we go. It has like a, like all these like pretty little things on there that tell you if it's for dry or for wet hair. It is doing what it said it would do. It did do it. Oh no. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. So much better for my hair than using a flat iron and you can see how like broken my hair is. It is coming in though. I am taking like hair vitamins and stuff. I've talked about them in videos. I'll, I'll link them down below. It's called du Ducre or something. I don't know. My dermatologist recommended it. Anyway, but it still loves to like snap off on me. This is like the healthiest it's looked in so long. Dang it. Ah, Dyson. It's really nice. But again, I have fine, already straight hair for the most part. So let we're gonna try it in low in a minute, but first I wanna show you some other things because I got I got some other things. First up, again, because I don't know how to stop with these products, I got a candle, but it's not just any candle, okay? This is a very interesting candle and it gave me pause because I've never seen anything like this before. And they call it a candle that never runs out. Like it never stops burning. You, like you can't let this candle die. <laughs> it's called the Everlasting Candle and they have a bunch of different styles and stuff, but l let me show you what it is first. Cause I know you're thinking the same thing that I was thinking. It's not computing in my brain how that would work. So you get your candles, you get the container. And by the way, the ones I got, I got the gold ones. These ones right here. Look at, they're like metal. It's metal. So the reason that these never stop burning is because they use a smokeless clean mineral oil to, um, I just saw a giant skull on it, but it's only poisonous if you swallow it. <laughs> Okay. So this is a premium mineral oil that is odorless, smokeless, and burns with a clean, bright flame. And you can just keep topping this up in order to have the candles go forever. Again, it is a flame. It is candles. Like don't leave it burning without, you know, monitoring it, but it's never gonna lose its like shape. So they had all sorts of different ones. They had black, they had white, they had bronze, I think. This is maybe something you don't want to have um, in close proximity to children or pets because they're very uh, stringent on the fact that this will kill you if you ingest it. They have this like giant label on here. This is, I got the smoky um, glass to for it to go in because I thought that'd be really pretty. Okay, so you have the three and then they just sort of like sit in here and then they, they burn and it's supposed to look all pretty and stuff. So all I need to do is just add the mineral oil to the container. Doing this so carefully, doing this so carefully. And then you stick your candles right into it like that. Now we need to let this soak for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna set a timer, 30 minutes. We will check back when this is done. Okay, now onto a product that I didn't actually see an ad for until you guys started mentioning to me. I think I asked you guys on Instagram um, what overly sponsored products you'd been seeing. And this was a big one. It is the brand Wild Deodorant. And it's a really cool concept actually when I was like looking into it. Basically they are the first refillable deodorant that's like plastic free. So their whole thing is that they have these like metal containers and they use, you know, deodorant, there's no parabens, there's no uh, aluminum in them or anything like that. And they have a bunch of different scents and a bunch of different containers. Then you just buy the refills and the refills are compostable. So I thought that was like a, like a, that's a cool thing. So I bought a bunch of scents because we, we ought to try them out. And then I bought, this is the case I bought because Rich loves. I had to. I think it was a little bit more and I don't care. First of all, I want to smell them. I was gonna like look into how to do it, but no. I want to smell the ones that I got first because you can get like a three pack. If you're like doing this for the first time, you can buy like three different ones. So this is coconut vanilla. It's a very soft coconut, which I like. Cause sometimes coconut, I bought this one specifically because I know sometimes coconut can be very like physician's formula, butter bronzer, 
or like sunscreen. This feels like, like a fresh coconut. All right, I got pomegranate and pink peppercorn. Ooh, okay, so this one smells a little bit more like a perfumey candle. I'm not mad at it though, but that's that's where it, it's going for me more. I don't smell any peppercorniness to it, nor pomegranate, but I don't know if I would be able to pick out what a pomegranate is supposed to smell like. Okay, and then fresh cotton and sea salt. I think this was their, their number one bestseller in terms of scent. It's like a fresh oceany freshness. Okay, all right, well now I, I don't know which ones do I test. Uh-oh, um, hmm, <laughs> okay. <laughs> one thing to note, they all look the same unless they have their little sleeve on them. So now I'm a good, I'm gonna do some guessing. This one I think is the peppercorn. This I think is coconut, or maybe this one's coconut. Uh-oh. Christopher, can you smell these and tell me which Probably one? Probably not. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> can you smell any of them? Yeah, I can smell the first two, kind of. Okay. Which one do you like best? What is it? Deodorant. Oh, probably the second one then? Oh, see, now I can't smell that one. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, is that I can't now... Oh, wait, hold on. This one says fresh cotton and sea salt. Yes! They don't have um, anything on them that say the difference between the two other than the outside. Mm. All right, well, I guess I'll go with this one. It's a spaceship, you look and think. Dyson. It's a straightener. Look how straight uh, my hair is. Is it so straight? Much straightness. Much straightness, many wows. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Christopher. Now we need to figure out how to get this guy in here. This deodorant is carbon negative. Cool. They also have sensitive ones. Okay, twist all the way down until you can't twist anymore. Then squeeze the buttons. Oh, didn't even notice it had buttons. Buttons, squeeze, and then pull the base of the case down, down and out, down and out. <laughs> okay, then put the deodorant on it. I don't even remember which one is which now. I think this is the coconut one, but I'm not sure. Okay, like this, and then put the case back together. Put it back together, okay? And twist upwards. Oh, ro ro. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> I think I broke it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right, now it's in. So stay tuned as I test this. Okay, now we're trying on some clothing. And this one caught my eye because you don't have to wear a bra with it. I mean, a lot of you guys had also sent this to me as like a brand to try out for this video. And I've been like combing through and watching because they do a lot of like restocks and stuff, but they sell it really fast. And they have a bunch of different styles. It's by the brand, um, I think it's Classy Network with a K. And the brand itself, I believe, is Brahmi. So it's basically very happy have built-in bras essentially for all their different tops so you don't have to wear one. And they have different like um, padding cup sizes so you can buy different ones depending on what size your chest is so you can kind of alter it to tailor and fit and cover you depending on what size you are. So love that. So I bought two different ones and we are going to try them on. First thing I got is a ribbed um, cami tank because that's the one thing that I hate is that I can't wear a cami without having to wear a bra and then you have this bra structure it's a whole thing so I thought that would be a fun one it is very croppy because all of their long ones are all sold out but I thought the crop was kind of cute this is a cute vibe and then I also bought a dress because that's another one you don't necessarily want to wear a bra for especially if it's got like a cool cutout or something and I decided to go full on Barbie with this one. It's so pink. And again, it has the built-in the bra and you can see it is strapless because I hate strapless bras, but I also don't want straps showing. So this is going to solve it for me, right? Okay, we need to, let's go try it on. Starting off with the tank top, which took me a minute to get into. I am typically a size small. I measured according to the things and I, should be a small and it does fit. She is tight though. I do like that there's like a little band here that sort of keeps, you know, the girls girling. Oh, my timer. We'll go light up those guys in a minute. It's a nice tank top. It's like a ribbed material, which I do like. I think it's cute. Just keep in mind to do it like a little double check when you're measuring. It fits, but it's like a tight fit. Also, I got deodorant on it in case you can see on screen that I like wiped it off. So anyway, not the new one. This is just the old stuff. I haven't put that stuff on yet. This is all to say that I do like it. Um, I don't think I can adjust the strap any more than this, which is mildly annoying. I wish I could adjust it a little bit more, but everything fits. I did not need a larger um, pad side for reference. I'm typically a size 32 double D 30 or something like that. And I don't need it. It's just whatever is in this padding seems to work well. So um, this great so far, a couple of little things though. But now let's put on the dress. All right, 
Now we have it on. So it is very comfortable, by the way, just for reference, it is sitting like this camera lens. There we go. It's sitting like just below my knee, kind of like a midi length. It also has a bit of a, like a cutout on the side where you can see that my legs don't match my arms. More on this in a minute though. I do like that the material is like very stretchy, very comfortable. Like it's giving like a lot of stretch. However, with the um, ruching, I don't know what it is, but it's giving weird shadows on me and the girls are not getting any support. Now they are very clear on their website, like which ones have a little bit of support and which ones don't. I don't remember for this one, but I don't think there is, like there's no built-in bra, it's like just padding basically. So if you've had children, you might wanna look for one that has like the, the banding underneath to kind of give them a lift, you know? I personally would have preferred this without the slit, it just, I don't know, just not my favorite. I don't love the slit, but it is a lot easier to walk in. So I think I will order a couple more shirts from them. Again, I'm gonna have to look into the sizing. I might be a medium for them, but I really like the ones that have that built-in almost like shelf bra because it's it doesn't feel like a normal bra because I normally wear like a wired bra and it just gives them a little bit of a lift. And I think for shirts like a camisole, which I've never been able to wear before really, um, that's a nice option. Let's light this candle, by the way. One, two, three. Cool. Let's just move this hazard sign out of the way. And so they'll just kind of keep their shape. That's kind of neat. So now let's get a low up here. I'm gonna straighten her hair. Okay, she's on her way. So while she wets down her hair, um, I wanted to show you another product that I have been using over the past like month or so um, that I have seen a couple of different ads for and so has Low. Just laughing at how our feeds are like entirely synced. Like anytime I send her a TikTok, she's like, yeah, I already saw that and vice versa. It's wild. It's a brand Pipette, which is like a mom and baby, like all natural kind of a line. They have a ton of different products they're most well known for like their sunscreen they have an eczema cream body washes stuff like that and so I bought a couple of products and I was gonna buy the mineral sunscreen but I wanted to know why I didn't and the reason is because it is not water resistant at all like as soon as you touch water you have to reapply it and that's just not like that just doesn't work for my lifestyle my kids are always either in the pool or they're uh, like at my parents house I don't have a pool <laughs> wish I had a pool actually no no I don't wish I had a pool they're a lot of work anyway we have a water table out back the kids are constantly playing in that and I just don't want to have to keep applying it constantly as soon as water touches it. Obviously you need to reapply your sunscreen, but that is the reason that I didn't end up buying that. However, I have been trying out their baby shampoo and wash, which is a vanilla and ylang ylang, I believe is how you pronounce it, and also the eczema lotion. Now two of my kids have eczema, so this was what I was sort of trying it on them. And then this I've been using for the boys. And they have two different scents to choose from. I chose this one um, just because it's supposed to be like reminiscent of, you know, like that newborn kind of smell, I don't know. It smells nice, it's very subtle. It's got a little bit of like a vanilla-iness to it. It's supposed to be like like a baby, like that baby powder kind of thing, I don't know. I like it, I wasn't like I'm wowed by it. It wasn't like, ooh, I need more of this in my life, but it was it was fine. It does have a nice lather to it. It doesn't uh, affect the boys' skin at all. It's also tear-free, important. And I do smell it on their hair like afterwards too, like a little bit. It's not super potent, but like you can smell it a little bit, which I like. So this is this is a nice product, I did like it. And then the other one, this is their eczema lotion. So I've used about, there's a line like here, like this much. The boys in particular, their skin is very sensitive. So when we're looking for sunscreens and things like that, we have to choose like specific ones for them. And so I was using this on skin that wasn't extremely irritating because there's only one thing that I apply to their skin when it is, but it, when it's a little bit like a little bit rashy, but it's been maintained, you know? And this has not uh, upset their skin at all, which is fantastic because a lot of them, they have irritants in them, fragrances in them that just like, they sting, right? Which you don't want, nobody wants. But the one product I use, just in case you were wondering, in case you also suffer from eczema or have someone in your life that does, is the L'Occitane Shea Butter, like the actual 100% like tub thing of shea butter. I don't know why. Anything else that I apply to their skin just makes it sting. If it's having like a moment, it, it just really breaks out. So anyway, that's what I use, but otherwise I've been using this. It doesn't bother them. It doesn't bother their skin at all. I wouldn't say it's like, making the eczema better, but you know how eczema is. It's sort of, it's it's a mix of different things. It's external, it's internal. There's like a whole bunch of different pieces that you kind of have to put the puzzle together on, but this is nice. It's keeping it hydrated. I like it. And this is the next product. I feel like we've tested a lot of products. I found some gems. This one caught my eye and I thought it was so Cool, I actually used it um, not last night, but the night before. And it's by Bondi Sands. It's their Techno Color 
self tanner and basically this comes in I think three different undertones depending on what your skin tone is and it's supposed to give you the most perfect self tanner color it's not too orange it's not too green it's not too purple or red like it's gonna give you that color based off of what you are initially starting with so I chose the sapphire for a natural cool undertone because I am more on the fair side I chose this one this has a blue gray guide color oh this looks okay I'm going to my parents after this Oh, it's square. Oh, it's not square. It's diamond shape. It looks like the bottle got squished. So this is apparently designed for my skin tone. Not for my clumsiness though. So it seems that you just apply this the normal way. So let's see what the color is. It's normal. I'm very curious how this stacks up to my normal self tanner because we know, I know, you know, that my favorite, the OG is like, it's Loving Tan. Loving Tan is my favorite. So will this beat it? I don't know. I have yet to find one that does. Pat on the elbows, always. Nobody wants patchy elbows. That's not cute. There is no scent to this at all. I honestly didn't even notice that's how no scent it is, if that makes sense. Definitely a cooler tone than I normally get. It's not as blue gray as I was sort of expecting. I was fully expecting like a, like a Smurf moment. Smurf but tanned. But no, it's just a mild, tone difference, I guess. So far, so good. I don't see any like oranginess or or anything. So let's put this all on first. All right, it's all on now. I have it on my face too. Now granted, it might look a little patchy because my nose is so raw from blowing it all the time. The fun dance of is it seasonal allergies or is it a cold? But I've gone through and I've like gotten rid of any out of like my hairline and stuff like that. But I found interesting is that the color that came off on the cotton pad is more of like a like a pinky tone. I don't know if that's gonna show there, but usually this is not pink. This is more of like a like an olive tone. So I found that to be very interesting. But let's see what this looks like when it like fully develops. Hey, remember that time I left it on overnight? Forgot to film after an hour. So I'm just getting ready to film. I don't have any makeup on my face yet though, so I wanted to show you what it looked like. This is full, like overnight, I haven't washed it off or anything. I don't think it looks any different um, than after it was first applied or within like 20 minutes or so. I think it looks good. It is a much more like soft tan than what I normally do. But I think, I think it looks pretty like natural or whatever than like what I would normally do. Like I, I like it. I'm curious to see how this um, wears. What I tend to do, which is probably not what you're supposed to do, but what I tend to do is I will just leave the tan on. Unless I'm going to be like in a pool or you know, like in water of some description, I won't rinse it off and I'll just apply moisturizer on top. I don't know, that it just works for me and I like the way that the guide color looks. I feel like this tan will be very almost non-existent once I wash it off, though I will will check that. So I'm just gonna wear this as I normally would. I'm just gonna put on some moisturizer and like continue on with my day. We'll see how it wears. But like I like this and I will continue to use it. So all my um, fair girlies who are looking for like a nice little self tan that isn't too orange, I feel like this fits the bill for us. And I like they have different options too for different skin tones that are going to cater to different undertones. I think it's just a really cool product. Let me know if you've tried it in like a different tone and if it like works for you. I'm very curious about there's the olive one and then there's the, it's like a magenta undertone I think. So I'm very curious. So let me know if you like those ones because I, this one, at least for my skin tone, works really well. Welcome to my office. Have a seat in my chair. Well, this Here's is small. Small. I'm pointing out the everlasting candle. Oh, I'm on camera. You are. It's cute but small, but it's, it's small. Uh, I don't know. What there it is. <laughs> Yay! Oh, All of these lights, I feel like. No photos, please! This is it. it. So much bigger than it looks on all the Instagrams and TikToks. I know, right? So as someone who has religiously straightened their hair for longer than I'd care to admit, um, these remind me of the straighteners from yesteryear. The old school ones, because they're Yeah, bulky. the big plates. Yeah. Okay, so she has one part that is wet and then one part that is dry. We're gonna try it on both. Wow. Okay, so you have to turn it on. Okay, this is the part that scares me. I feel so influential. Okay. <laughs> so you press this yeah. and it has to clean it. It's gonna blast cold air for three seconds, but it's gonna go that way where the orange is. Okay. Now it's clean apparently. So you take a small section, like so. Yeah, that's what happens. Okay. So it's on idle mode right now. Okay. And then when you clamp it together, it goes into like full mode. Okay. Now you try. Okay. Ooh. I'm just over here like, <laughs> is it still wet? No, it's dry. I feel like it looks a bit frizzy. Try going over it again in a smaller section. Okay, but you know when it says small sections and you're like, yeah, yeah, for sure. But like, 
<laughs> Nobody has time for that. You're going really fast too. Am I okay? Do you have a regular straightener? I do. Can we do like a, a side by side test piece? Like one piece here and then one piece here or both pieces? No, like there? beside each other. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, do this one again and okay. I'm gonna go get my straightener. Hey, and welcome back to Rage Love. <laughs> I don't want to even say like you're coming back from a commercial break or something. Yeah, I was going to say. I was you like, know, wow. the way you sound, Do I like, sound that? like that. Don't you feel like that looks more shiny than this? Like it's a bigger section. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me do smaller side by side. I see what you're saying, like in certain lights, but like, I don't know, if you're going to get healthier hair for it, it, it's still really shiny. You have very shiny hair. It looks like you have tinsel in your hair. Well, the amazing thing happens when you never do it. <laughs> when you have to do this from dry, I think it's hotter. So try it dry okay. on that okay. side. Yeah. I will say this, and maybe I'm just a bad uh, user. I have never done this small sections in my life. No, yeah, no, no, no. Or gone this slow. Yeah, you're supposed to go like really slow. Do it again, but slow. Slow, very slow. That's so slow. I know. Slow motion for me. Yeah. That's what I see on my TikTok. I feel like it does look good. It looks good. So much work if you have hair that isn't fine. Well, like, that, I can't imagine how long that would take you. That's the thing. So like, I never curl my hair because I don't have an hour and a half to invest in the process. I have with like a traditional straightener, gotten it down to like 15 minutes and I have a lot of hair. And, like this is about a third of my head. There's so much hair. So I feel like maybe that I'm a bad like example in that because I understand the value of like healthy hair for sure. Yeah, I feel like I'm like cutting you out of your hair. <laughs> Please, Hello. step into my office. I just feel like I would never spend the time to do it like this. No, and yeah. I, I, like I've seen people who have like, there's all sorts of different hair textures that they're saying that this is a great yeah. fit for. But then if you have a very coily yeah. texture, you have to go over it like three or four times. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, again, I have, <laughs> I think we both just, just like yell at me. <laughs> I can only talk through my experience with it. And like, yes, my hair looks shiny, but it doesn't do anything other than like pin straight. You have to like then curl the ends uh, or like do yeah, whatever you want. to get your little want. like, oh, if you're like a bang girl, like a curtain bang girl. Yeah, or... it's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna give volume. It's just going to straighten. But if you have, to your point, if you have the right hair type, and that's what you want. That's a win. If you're looking for like, again, healthy hair is your like yeah. crucial of crucial importance. And you're trying to go from like a towel dry existence to like fully done. Yeah. And you have an hour right here. I got, is that how I got long it took you. No, it wasn't that long, but like, I can imagine like full towel dry hair mm. and sectioning it. Like I was really like, you were in there. It would take a while. I guess my question would be, and I mean, it's Dyson, so I'm sure they thought it through, but like, if you have to go over the same strand four times, even with better technology, how does that net out versus going over it once with a, with straightener. a straightener? These are the questions. Dyson, explain <laughs> to us how this is supposed to happen. No one's gonna say you need this, but like it does do what it says it's going to do for a certain hair type. And the value add actually that we're not talking about is being able to go with from one hair. If you're in a rush and you, you're not gonna use this as in a rush though. No, but it's faster than probably blow drying your hair and, and then straightening it. For you, yeah. that would probably be the fastest way to get your hair done. Well, thanks for letting me try the gadget. You're really so welcome. I feel fancy now. So fancy. Let me know if you've tried any of these products before or if there are other overly sponsored products that we should try out next. And if you wanna see more of the testing of overly sponsored products, because we have tried them. So many of the ones that you guys have suggested We've already tested them. So check out the full playlist on the side over here. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic day and I will see you guys all next week.